Hi guys, today we're here to chat all about Sephora Holiday, more specifically the Sephora Favorites kits. I picked up three of them and I figured I would do a little try on slash review to let you know which kits I think are good and maybe there's a kit in here I think that you should skip. In addition to that, if you're curious to see some more about Fenty Holiday or Bite Beauty Holiday, I did do lip swatches of both of their kits. So I will have those linked down below and I do of course plan to do more holiday videos specifically one on some skincare kits as well and anything else that you don't see me apply in this video I will have it linked down below if you're curious to see what is else what else is on my face uh, but let's go ahead and get started so these Sephora kits come out every year during the holiday season and although they're probably meant to be gifts for other people generally I end up picking them up for myself I actually don't have a lot of beauty lovers in my life but I think it's a great way to try new products try new brands get minis of products you already love uh, also great to pick up during the VIB sale to save a few extra bucks and use your eBay, Ebates or Rakuten, whatever they're calling it now, uh, to get cash back anytime you're shopping online. But these sets are generally available in store online in Canada and the United States. And the first one that I picked up is the Sephora Favorites, The Next Big Thing. In the past, I've reviewed the lip sets, but I haven't often picked up these ones. So this one is, from, is saying that it's for brands that you need to know. And it says that it's uh, a way to explore different from beauty brands with seven different uh, trend inspired products including a full-size lipstick and a heart stamp blush this one retails it's pretty good 47 Canadian and 39 US so not a huge huge difference between Canadian and American prices. Uh, so it shows you right here on the front all the products you're getting in here. Also like you could pick this up and divide it between friends you know like if you want to pick it up as a gift and divide it or if you like are just in Sephora you could always pick it up and split it. But in here I think the packaging is really nice. It's simple. It's not too overdone. Holiday packaging can get a little bit bulky. I always just want to be able to like easily recycle things is, is my request. So you can see all of the products in here. The first thing that I put on my face was this milk what are they calling this it is the milk cooling water in a mini I think that that's cute um, and I don't know that I would necessarily call that the next big thing I feel like it's been out for a while and it's nothing new or crazy for milk but I have been curious about those products so I gave that a try and then again the same can kind of be said for the Farsali liquid glass this again is not particularly new I do have the full size of this and I like it uh, but this one is so small like you'll probably get two or three three uses out of this it's really not much in there but it, you know it is what it is you are getting some other bigger products in here then up next uh i this is the product that i'm probably the least excited about in the kit it's from violet voss glitter topper in dream and kind of my issue with this is that this color and this color are kind of similar and then another product in another kit is kind of similar and i find them all to be kind of these taupey beigey reflective like aren't really necessarily cool or warm I don't know I just don't find them that exciting of colors and this is like kind of this copper shade with silver chunks of glitter in there which I don't really like the look of copper and silver together so I don't see myself making use of that product but again you know it could be personal preference that could be absolutely your jam and then also included in here is the Natasha Denona I have it upside down diamond and glow so this is kind of interesting but again it's not really the kind of colors that I'm super interested in the pink is pretty I see myself using this as a blush topper you'll see me apply it and I used it I put it on my cheeks I did have highlighter down but I did want to try it as like a blush and it gave a little bit of color to my cheeks but not much so I, I anticipate using this more as a blush topper and then the glow portion in there or like the diamond or whatever that is that part maybe use it on my eyes but again it's kind of like glittery with no strong base and it's very very cool toned I think that's my issue is like some of these products are quite cool toned and I'm not a cool toned gal and I don't find that maybe that's the next big thing is cool tones because warm has been around for a while but I want to stick to my warm uh, and then in here I totally spaced on applying this to my cheeks but I did do use this in my most recent get ready with me so I will link to it down below it's the Akaja sorry I don't know the names of anything cheeky stamp blend blendable blush in feisty surprisingly I enjoy this while the heart shaped stamp is potentially not necessary it's kind of cute and you don't need to use this stamp it is a very bulky product I will say that um, but it is cute and I think it looks really pretty on the cheeks it's easily blendable it's a good product so a little bit bulky packaging a little bit silly of a concept but I think it's fun 
uh, and definitely very giftable because it's something a little bit interesting that somebody may not try themselves. And then the last thing in here is from Melt. I don't think I've tried anything from Melt before. And this is the Melt Cosmetics full size. That's so a full size lipstick in old rose. And when I put this on, I didn't really love it with like when I looked at it in person, when I looked at it on camera, I thought it looked a little bit better, but again, it's not really my type of shade. It's a little bit cool tone, and I feel like the majority of people, well, I don't want to speak for the majority of people, but in my opinion, I don't feel like, and it doesn't need to be a universally flatter, flattering shade, but I just feel like it could have been a better shade that was in here. I don't know if maybe I'm just not trendy enough to really enjoy this, but, uh, oh, and I forgot to mention the Artist Couture. I used this on my eyes with the Jackie Ina palette. I went for some of the kind of purples from that palette because it says uh, here, it's in Spotlight Glitz, and I think on their website they say it's like a kind of a purpley finish, and Again, it's kind of one of those shades where it looks like it has a little purple in there, but it's also kind of copper and it's also kind of has this shiftiness to it, but I don't love the shift of color. And I've been always very curious to try the diamond powders from Artist Couture, like the highlighters, but this glitter, like I'm not gonna reach for this glitter again. It's just not gonna happen. So I don't know if I'm just like, not cool or whatever it is but yeah this one for me I would pass on personally if you tend to like the same types of things as me I just don't feel like this was worth it the only thing I would really consider purchasing out of this is the Kaya Kaja blush which I think is cute I already own the Farsali glass and it's so small and the milk you can buy in little minis as well if you were curious to try the minis from them and they have some of their own holiday sets as well so this for me was kind of uh, a little bit of a pass not to start off on a, on a bad note but things will get better so taking things up a little bit, uh, a little bit more positive, this is the Sephora Favorites Superstars Kit, and this is their everyday must-haves. So it says on the back here, explore different beauty trends, back into trends, with these nine bestsellers, including a full-size highlighter, a brow gel, and a lipstick. So you're getting three full-size products in here, which I think is super exciting. Uh, this is 48 US, 58 Canadian, so a little bit more than the other ones, but this one, I'll say, say right now, I really, really like it. And I actually already own a lot of these products, but I was like, ooh, minis. And I wanted to test out the actual products that were in here in my demo, as opposed to like pulling out my full size because I wanted to make sure the quality was still good because we know around the holidays, things can get a little bit suspect. Um, so, and I, I've always been curious to try out the Anastasia brow gel. So I was like, amazing, great time to try that out. Um, you know, have you seen, let me grab it. This is my Fenty highlighter in Mean Money Hustler Baby. We've got painter's tape. It's completely separated. And I've hit pan on the, um, on the more satiny side. So I was all for getting a second one of these. Uh, so I thought that that was great and you're getting a full size in there. And then you're also getting a full size of the NARS Dolce Vita. I've never tried that before. So overall, this got me really, really pumped up. So the first thing from this kit that uh, you would put on your face would probably be either the Agave Lip uh, Balm from Bite or maybe the Hydro Grip Primer. The Agave Lip Balm from Bite, I like this. I have other lip balms that I like more, but I will definitely say that I love the newer formula of the Agave stuff from Bite over the older stuff. So happy to see that in there and I, and I know that is kind of a superstar bestseller product from Sephora. Then the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, I really like that as well. I didn't use it today because I put on the Farsali, but I do really like that and I'm glad to have a mini of that as well. In terms of eyeliner, we have the Benefit Roller Liner, which is one of my favorite eyeliners. This is super black. I put it on over that glitter that I have on my eyes. It still went on really black, really beautiful. So great to have a mini of that in here. The only kind of disappointing thing to me, not that it's disappointing, it's, it's a Laura Mercier caviar stick, which are super popular. But again, this is in one of those taupey shades, which I just don't love. It's super reflective and it looks really gold in the tube. But unfortunately, when I put it out of my hand, it just got more taupey, which is just not really my jam, but it is really pretty. And I have, um, I have don't have much experience with those. So I'm, I'm curious to play around with it a little bit, perhaps. Uh, then we have the Anastasia brow gel, which I feel like people really, really love. I'm unsure how I feel about it. I put it in my brows and I feel like, I feel like there's nothing in there. Like I'm able to, not that I want my brows to be like nailed down, but I can still move my brows around a lot. Like it feels like it doesn't have good hold. My favorite is the 24 hour brow setter. And so far I don't really get the hype of it. It's almost like there was no product in there. Like it was kind of empty. Let me know if you have tried it, what you, what your experience with is it. I'll have to try it again. Uh, then of course the all nighter setting spray. I mean, come on, it is the best setting spray out there. <laughs> One of the best. And I love this mini container because the mist, the mister on it is still very, very good. It's a great fine mist. You're not sacrificing anything there. And if you have the full size, 
I'll definitely be refilling this to use for travel because I have one of the mini kind of slimmer ones for travel, but this is even smaller. Uh, so we will definitely, definitely be traveling with that. And then also in here, you're getting the Too Faced Better Than Sex. That is not my favorite. I like the Damn Girl Mascara. That's a preference for me from them. But I actually really liked the look that I got on my eyes today with this mascara. I do find though, and I don't have this issue with any other mascara, that this one can flake and smudge on me. And that does not happen with any other mascara. So that is a little bit disappointing to me, but the actual performance of it, I feel like is much better than I thought it was. I never was a huge fan of this. Uh, and then we have the Fenty Beauty highlighter, which I mentioned this, um, I put on the satin first and then I layered on the more bold one. This is like, it's the best highlighter out there. I love having the uh, kind of more satin and the more glow. It makes it versatile. It's just really, really beautiful. Such a gorgeous shade. And I feel like it will work for a lot of skin tones. It's tricky to put in complexion products, but I appreciate that it's in there because there's only so much eyes and lips that you can do. Sorry, there's like a fly there. Some like flies have started living in my house plants. So, um, I mean, I'm glad you found a place to live. But what I would love to see in, in some of their kits is they never, or they rarely do eyeshadows. Like the Natasha Denona thing could be replaced with like a little three pan eyeshadow palette because I know they don't want to do a lot of complexion stuff probably, but it would be nice to have some more eye stuff in there outside of like cream eyeshadows and things like that because I don't reach for that very often. Uh, but yeah, so then the last thing that I put on is the, or tried on, is the NARS Dolce Vita, and I did not expect to like this. Like, this color here, this kind of bricky, almost red but not red, is one of the few lip shades I hate to wear, so I was a little nervous about it, but it's much more sheer than it looks, and it's much more pink than it looks in this little outside container, so that's not a shade that I would have ever reached for. I guess it is really popular, uh, but I had never tried it before, and I thought it was really, really pretty. Uh, is it going to change my life? No, um, but it is nice, and I will continue to wear it, so overall I think this is a really great deal even if you already happen to own these products uh, they're just as good quality if you were looking for any minis or backups or anything like that it would make a great gift uh, like I said for yourself or someone else the only kind of dodgy thing in here is the Anastasia brow gel I don't know if it's a bad one or if that's how it is uh, but otherwise I will continue to test that of course and report back but I think it's gorgeous and the packaging is really nice too same as the other one um, you could easily just kind of put a bow on this just remove that price tag and uh, give it to someone who loves makeup Lastly, this is the kit that I've reviewed the majority of years, either the Give Me More Lip or the Give Me Some Lip, and I always, always love these. I'm a huge lipstick junkie. Uh, this one is different, though. It's smaller, I believe. So this one retails for $42 US, $50 Canadian. Historically, this has been up in the $70 range for uh, Canadians, and this is a lip wardrobe this year, or I think this is the first time I've seen them do this kind of split it in half as well. So they're kind of revamping it. It's balms and lipsticks. I would have loved to see some glosses, you know, like when we're talking trends and stuff, I feel like glosses have made a comeback and I would prefer to see like two balms, two glosses and four lipsticks or something like that. It says find your, find and give your perfect lip a break with this lip wardrobe featuring a collection of two full size and six deluxe lip products in multiple formulas, finishes and shades. And this is actually perforated on the back, which I think is pretty cute. Uh, so you can actually split this in half and give it to friends if you've got a friend who's like obsessed with balms and a friend who's obsessed with lipsticks or whatever it may be. And I guess like, I mean, this one is kind of a gloss here, so I shouldn't say that there's no glosses in here, but Anyways, let me just chat about uh, exactly what's in here. So on the bombs side, you're getting four different products. And I just have to say, I feel like the fresh sugar rose lip balm, albeit nice, has become um, up there in the category with the Smashbox primer that it's like, <sighs> how many times can we get it? You know, like if you buy this kit every year, how many of these do you have? And I find when it comes in a smaller size, it's more likely to break. So I feel like it's not as good quality. I don't know, like maybe everybody feels different and they look forward to getting this in their, in their box every year. I, I absolutely do not. I am 100% over it. And the rose color is not my favorite. If they came out with like a new color or something, maybe, but it's just to me feels completely overdone and I'm I'm sick of seeing it in there uh, especially if they're trying to show off like new things like I don't know if Fresh signed a contract with Sephora and is like you had to put these in there for the next 10 years but it's like we've seen this we've done it please show us something new like if you're trying to get people to try new things 
Anyways, enough about ranting about that. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm just bored of it. And then the next thing in here is the Milk Makeup Kush Lip Balm in Green Dragon. So it looks green but comes out clear. I really like this balm. I've actually eyed it to buy in full size. I find it to be really comfortable. But the problem is similar to what I just said about the Fresh with the mini size, it's cracked. So it makes it a lot harder to use. I could kind of like melt it back together but I find that really frustrating when you get mini sizes and then they break. It happens with lipsticks too and I did not have it rolled up too far. I promise. So I really like the formula, but I'm kind of peeved that the thing itself has broken, but I actually do, I can see myself purchasing that in full size. No introduction needed for the Laneige sleeping mask. This is one of my favorite things in the world. I will continue to repurchase it over and over again. I cannot go to sleep without it. It's become like my teddy bear or my like binky blanket or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I love this. So I love to have a mini. I have one already for travel. I will be you know tucking this away it is so good and it's you know if you haven't tried it and you're sick of people talking about it this may be a great opportunity to try it if you do end up picking up this kit and then the last item in the bombs side is actually a gloss this is from a brand i've never i don't think i've heard of this brand it's called ink credible and this is the full size of the bomb side and this is their in um, roller bowl gloss and it's in the shade choose your happy it's essentially clear though and I was expecting to hate this. I do actually really like the finish. It doesn't feel too oily. Like I remember these from back in the day. They were like a combination somehow of really watery and really oily and would kind of just like get all over your mouth. And this has a little bit more thickness to it. It looks really pretty. Uh, so it is really nice. And this is something I would have absolutely never bought, something in a rollerball format for the lips. So uh, it's cute and I'm happy to try it. Uh, I. Uh, of all the things, I wish either the Laneige mask or the Milk had been full size over this over this roller ball. Um, but yeah, I won't complain too much. And then, lastly, is the lipsticks. Okay, run away. So over on the lipstick side, you're getting four lipsticks. The full size in here is actually from Charlotte Tilbury, which I think is really cool. That's a very high-end brand. It is one of her lipsticks in the shade Very Victoria. So it's a matte revolution in Very Victoria. I like this lipstick. I think it's a really pretty shade. It's kind of like a... Uh, it almost reminds me a little bit of the matte, the melt one that's in the other kit in the sense it's a little bit cool toned, but it's a little more peachy than the other lipstick that I'm going to mention in here. I think it's pretty. Uh, I do like that and I will continue to wear that probably with a lip liner, however. But my issue is, is that I find it to be quite similar to the Too Faced lipstick that's in here. It's one of the uh, peach lipsticks in the shade Sex on the Peach. So it's a Peach Kiss lipstick, moisture matte, whoa, the name on these, Peach Kiss lipstick, moisture matte, long wear lipstick in Sex on the Peach. That is far too much, um, but it is really cute. But I just find like, if you're gonna put in two nudes, have them be like very different nudes or like a deeper nude and a lighter nude for deeper skin tones. Like they, they look, very similar on the lips like there's slight differences of course but like you're buying this kit probably with the intention of wearing all the lipsticks in here so the fact that they're so similar is kind of a bummer to me i think they could have put in like just a really deep shade in here like a really deep wine or berry like something for the holidays i don't know that to me is just kind of annoying like i like them both separately but together in the kit i feel like it's a bit of a waste to have them both in there unless you're splitting it up between friends maybe it could work out that way uh then you're getting a fenty and mademoiselle lipstick in here which i absolutely love 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 this formula uh the one that they put in i really like too it's in flamingo acid i have a full lip swatch video on these and i think it's a gorgeous shade i'm actually wearing flamingo acid right now really lightly on my lips mixed with the charlotte tilbury because I couldn't really decide on a lip color. Really beautiful shade, really comfortable formula, so full of pigmentation, and it's just a great color. And then lastly, this is one of my favorite things that Sephora Collection does. It is their cream lip stains. So essentially, it's a liquid lipstick. This one is in the shade 6. Does it have an actual name name? Rouge Velvet, or sorry, Red Velvet. I was looking at the French. <laughs> Rouge Velvet, which I think is a really beautiful color. You know, it's perfect for the holidays. These are comfortable. They're long wearing. It's always nice to see a great red in there. It's a little bit of a deeper red uh, than shade number one from the Sephora collection lipsticks are really gorgeous as well um, and that's a really gorgeous shade it's a really true red and this one I feel to be a little bit uh, deeper so overall my favorite kit is the superstars kit that is definitely one that I feel like I'm going to use every single thing in there and I'm super super excited about it I think they have some really great strong products and not the same things that you see over and over and over in these kits which like I think they need to realize with these holiday things is is while yes, people are going out and buying these as gifts, it has now kind of had this 
kind of cult following where people who are huge makeup lovers want to buy these things every year as well so you need to try and be able to satisfy both those people in my opinion so I think that does a good job having things in there that although I may already own some of them I'm like excited to have the mini version of them and I feel like it's a pretty good deal uh, then the second thing that I like is the uh, give me more lip kit which Although I don't think it's as strong as previous kits, it is like $20 cheaper. Uh, and I do like a lot of the products in there, albeit I'm over the Rose Balm and those two lipsticks were similar. It kind of depends on how many lipsticks and things you already have in your collection. You may be happy to have the full size Charlotte Tilbury and the Too Faced in there. So I don't think it's a total wash. I just don't think it's as strong as previous years, but it still is exciting. And I do like that they've split it up between balms and lipsticks and you can split it in half, which would make a perfect gift. And then the dud for me is the what do they call it the next big thing which I disagree I don't think it's the next big thing um, but that's you know very much personal preference it wasn't that the quality of the products were bad it was just the selection of products and the selection of shades and textures were not things that I would ever ever go purchase on my own so for me that's kind of like uh, I, I, I wish I hadn't grabbed it but I'm glad I can tell you about it in case you're really into those kind of things or really not into them so let me know if you plan on picking up any of these kits and anything else holiday related you would like to see me chat about like I said I will be talking about the skincare kits that are available at Sephora and other places of course and if you want to see some Fenty and Bite Holiday those lip swatch videos will be linked down below. So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Samantha Jane YT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!